Warning, this video may contain foul language and mech on mech mayhem. Your discretion is advised. Where? Coming from where? Fucking missiles, man. And I actually missed that airstrike, so that was a complete fail. Fat. Fafnir E5 ramp. Rotary bushwhacker over there on that ramp. If we can get him, that'd be great. We took the Madcap Mark II out, baby. Careful right here. Target destroyed. Oh. Ha. Grasshopper's down. Oh. Gate is down. Damn, I thought I had that kill too. Watch him to go. So yeah. All right, bushwhackers down. There's a Nova Cat, and uh, he's going down. Ha! <laughs> there goes the Fafnir. Oh, I got another one. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, baby. Killing him. Killing him. Nice. A nice little streak there. Nice little brawler, you know? Nice little brawler. Dishes out some, uh, some pretty heavy damage, even though we only did, we only did 451. Still a good match. Seabills earned. This is one of those matches where you're like, oh, you didn't do a high amount of damage, but 451 is pretty good for a medium. And we did get four killing blows. Some K and DDs. We got a solo kill. And, um,. We still got a 419 match score, which is pretty good. Um, so this is just one of those matches that's like, oh, okay, well, that was still a lot of fun. And uh, Executioner, the Executioner I choose who dies and who lives. You know, nice. Nice match. It doesn't always have to be high damage, remember that. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and man, I haven't put out any content in like four days, so I'm gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it, and we're gonna bust out the Centurion A variant and do a classic brawl build. And I've been working with two of them, so uh, I should be able to show both of them. I'll show the main one first, and then I'll show the second one after this one. Um, we'll play, you know, some matches in, in each, or match each. Um, so, yeah, man, I've been really busy, and um, I'm finally getting some time to be able to put out some content. But the Centurion just cannot go wrong with it. And the A variant is, uh, I like the A variant a lot because it has the basics that you need, <coughs> excuse me, the basic hard points that you need 
for a brawl build. And the Centurion, I really, that's the only thing I use it for. It's, it's just brawling. I mean, I don't, you know, it's medium to close range builds always. That's what it's good at. It is a tanky medium mech. This is one of those me medium mechs that um, is just gonna do good. Well, depending on what you put on it, not every build's gonna do good, but this mech is good for brawling. Now, another thing is, we gotta do. I am playing it careful because whenever I'm in one of these, I wanna get to those front lines and stay up front, and, you know, and get, get the good stuff. But remember, it's fine to brawl, it's fine to be up front for a little bit, but don't tank it yourself, okay? Um, I've noticed playing the second line uh, support role works very well in the Centurion. And, Technically, you're supposed to. That's you know. That, well, that's what it was for. So let your uh, heavies and assaults do some of that beginning damage at the start of the match. Let them strip off some armor um, off the enemy, and then come in and just start brawling. You will have a upper hand, and um, this thing can take quite a beating. So yeah, this is a pretty standard build. Again, I'm going to show you two. Um, I like both of them. They, they both work very well and they both can rack up some really good damage and uh, really perform great. Uh, but yeah, hard points on the Centurion, basically all the same. I mean, each variant has, uh, you know, one or more than the other, but of course you're going to have your ballistic hard points in that arm there. Uh, it doesn't hang too low, but again, it is an arm mounted ballistic, so there is that. We do have our energy hard points in our CT and our missiles are on our left side of our mech. Right there in that left torso. Centurion is a staple, a staple mech within uh, the Mech Warrior and Battletech universe. It always will be. It's uh, it's like the Hunchback. It's just one of those classic mechs, and I will always love it. Good looking mech. All right, let's take a look at the build. <clears throat> we got a 50 tonner here. Centurion is a 50 ton inner sphere medium mech. And uh, the A variant has one ballistic, two energy, and three missile hard points. One, two, and three. As I said, this is the base of uh, every great brawl build, and not, you know, not every brawl build has to be one, two, three. It can be one, three, two. It can be two, one, four. It can, as long as you got ballistic energy and missile hard points, it's gonna set you up to do something along those lines. So here's what I'm using. I think the last Centurion video I did was a UAC 10, and um, I think like SRM4s or something. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do. First build is LB10, two medium lasers, and triple SRM6. So we're really gonna have those that uh, really nice punch from our missile hard points there, having all SRM6, two medium lasers. Medium lasers and SRMs go really well together because they have the same starting off optimal range. Of course, medium lasers are going to have a longer range because SRMs, their optimal range is uh, the same as their max range. We do have some range quirks, so we're going to pop that up to 310 meters for these SRMs. And for the medium lasers, we're going to pop it up the same amount, basically, for optimal. Alright, our LB-10. If you don't uh, play this game too often, you'll um, probably be wondering what ballistic weapon to use. It's up to you, of course, but LB-10s are... Uh, a lot of fun. I like using them with SRMs because they they pair so well together. I mean, you can use SRMs with whatever you want, AC-10s, UAC-10s, but LB-10s, LBX auto cannons on a brawl build is just a lot of fun. Now, most of the time, you're going to see pulse lasers with that. Now, our next build that we're, I'm going to show you is going to have pulse lasers with this. So, stay tuned for that. We do have light ferro, double heat sinks, and endo steel. My engine, I just got a st standard engine in here it's uh, actually it's not the, the stock engine it's um, a little bit slower but it's fine I got a standard in here if you want to you can go light XL whatever you want to do but I have everything I need my heat management is pretty damn good I got about a 60 point alpha strike with this um, skills here's the deal this is what we got our of course we got our C bill bonus but I'm trying to find the one that this comes with I'm pretty sure. Okay, so yes, this one comes with an Intersphere AC-10 cooldown, which is fine. That's totally fine. But it also comes um, with a ballistic cooldown as well. So we, our Intersphere AC-10 cooldown is minus five percent. 
Our mm-hmm. ballistic cooldown is minus 15%. So let's go ahead and add on top of that ballistic cooldown another 12% cooldown. So if I was to use an AC-10, which I, wow, I don't, oh my god. That would be a uh, 27. That'd be a 30, like a 31 or 32 percent cooldown on AC-10. Holy shit! Last match of the night, then I'm turning this computer off, and I gotta go to bed. No more matches. It's funny how we always say that. Just one more match. One more match before I gotta go to work, or one more match before I gotta go to bed, or one more match before I gotta leave. And the next thing you know, you're in the mech lab, messing around with your build. Oh, that was an accident. Not mean to fire my LBX. Nice oh, nice looking crab there, buddy. Mm. What do we got? Paper Eagle Bravo. Champion. Ah, fuck. Dude, I've been in the wrong place at the wrong time all night tonight. I don't know what's going on, but I've not been doing that great in this. It sucks because I, I want to. But all night tonight, I've been um, getting slammed. And quick, too. Oh, that's a goddamn mad cat. Oh man, they're, they're getting wiped out. It could change in a second. No one ever knows. What the? Really? Come on now. Remember what's going on. 
Alright, we are on Frozen City in the Centurion A variant. I'm trying a few different builds with this. Um, the main weapon being the LB-10. And then right now I've got two medium poles, two SRM-6, and a rocket launcher 15. This is just one of the other builds that I'm using. Another build that I'm using is LB-10, two medium lasers, and triple SRM-6. Uh, I've been using that one more, but I wanted to try this one out because pulse lasers work pretty well with uh, this LB-10, and I got a pretty kick-ass cooldown on this um, variant anyways, so ballistic weapons have super quick cooldown. Um, I focused them on survivability as well, because that's usually not something I, I uh, work on, and uh, the, the Centurion's already a tanky, tanky mech, so... Uh, I feel like it's only going to make it better. Go for some of the structure and uh, skeletal density, armor bonus, all that shit. Got Bravo out there with an odd build, AC-10 and small pulse lasers. That is, that is very weird. Let's get a little bit closer here. Hopefully I can use my airstrike to kind of pin them somewhere. I usually don't use airstrikes a lot. I've been using them more recently and it's not really for the damage. It's mostly for um, uh, moving the enemy or trying to hold the enemy in certain positions or moving them to a new one. Or, you know, you can use it that in that way. This is, uh... I hope this turns into a brawl here soon. Really haven't had any time to uh, play recently, so I'm, I'm very happy I have all tonight and all tomorrow to do that. Champion. Oh yeah, the champion is available for sea bills now. Awesome, isn't it? I'm gonna have to check it out, definitely. I mean, I, I already did a video on the standard variant. Standard variants a while back, so. I got him. I killed the Geno 2C, we got him. Got him, got him, got him. All right. The champion is just, is just very oddly built. Oh, shit, behind us. Watch our flank. Shit, my comms are not working either. It always does that. Always does that shit. Alright, we just did our airstrike right there where they're coming up at. Which is gonna be fun. place to be peeking out at not a good spot to do it so let's fucking reposition ourselves here Dragon's almost dead. New target acquired. God damn it, dude! Quit walking in my way. Shit. All right, he's down. Crab is down. Nice. Fuck, I hit, I've hit like, every time I fire, 
fire the LB-10, someone runs in front of it. Target acquired. Oh, the rocket launcher. I kind of forgot I had that for a second. Uh, it's just a nice little punch if you if you actually hit your target. What's he doing down there? Where is he going? Huh? Is he dead? Can't see him. Where's he at? Come here. Oh, he's dead. There's one left. Is he capping somewhere? I don't know why my comms do this. Like, I, I, my, my keyboard uh, bindings, they, I don't know. It's always been the same button. I never changed my comm button. And, um,. It's not working. Target acquired. Oh, come on down here, buddy. Come on, Commando. Give me a shot. Oh, I want to get him. He's an SRM Commando. Fun build, too. Is he coming down this way? Nope. Maybe. Come on, buddy. Run. Run towards me. Run towards me, yes. Shit. That's it. Oh, they are ahead by uh, about 40 points, so uh, we got this, though. Kept the D7 area, and then that's it. We had a nice little brawl there with that crab. That was fun. Um, yeah, nice little skirmisher there. It's kind of fun having that... Uh, rocket launcher on there too. Uh, we got a killing blow, 8 assists, 2 KMDDs, 614 damage. Not too shabby for uh, a pretty quick match there. Um, we got a great match score, 614. And uh, pretty damn good. I mean, for really, that was my first match of the, of the day. Coming in off of work, jumping on, and immediately doing that. It works, definitely. So I'm trying to see which works better. This build or this other build that I'm going to show you.